Uh, there's always that debate <coughs> about whether poetry can change anything. Um, Alden famously said that he, none of his poems saved anybody from a gas chamber, and it's an interesting thing, isn't it? Uh, what is it for? What, what's, the, what's the purpose? <coughs> and it was lovely to see uh, a really sort of good poetry guy, like Tony <laughs> Walsh, suddenly finding a purpose in his um, This Is The Place poem, uh, had a, had a uh, perfect place in the <coughs> Manchester vigil the night after the bombing. And it's, um, some people were mistakenly thought he composed it specially, uh, which doesn't do Tony justice actually, because he's, it's a quite an old poem. I heard him do it before about October time, I think. <clears throat> so I'm in Chesterfield. And he's a really great guy. And that's what poetry can do that other things can't. You know, when people need something to, to hold on to, that's, that's, that's a fantastic thing. It doesn't always have to be like that. His book is fantastic. It's called Sex and Love and Rock and Roll. Um, and actually, most of them are just really funny and light, dirty. But uh, there you go. <laughs> he's known as this uh, uh, meaningful poet. But he's <coughs> Look it up. It's on Amazon. You can buy it. It's fantastic. Okay. Um, another newcomer. That's right, isn't it? Another newcomer. Um, and, um, well, I'll just let him introduce himself. That's a marvellous welcome to Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I wasn't expecting to be here tonight, but I wrote a couple of verses through the week, so I'll share them with you. Um, I'm not even sure if this is poetry, you know, it's just like a mind wave that came through um, impulsively through the week, so this one I suppose is, it describes like self-pity and clarity, um, and it's called A Letter to Hate. This is a letter hate to you, I'm sorry but I write to let you know that we're through, we are over, we are done, and you have had your fun. And like any ending, this is tragic, but the journey was magic. Ending that cycle was what I yearned, but there were lessons throughout, a truth was learned. <coughs> for years I needed you, I know this much, for years you were a crutch. You were in every cell of blood in my veins, in every exuding reverberation of pain, in every flowing sorrowful tear, in every badly hidden expression of fear, and every word I speak here brings relief. I can inhale and exhale. I can breathe. Every moment is a chance for change, a profound lesson that once was strange. But when I learned it, I knew it was true, and now I know what to do. And without a point to prove, I'm ready to make my move. This is a letter, a letter to you here. I'm living my destiny, and you've met your fate. I live in the unknown, what will be will be. So this letter is sealed with a kiss from me. That's it. Thank you. So this one I think is um, slightly self-righteous, it's a bit of a tirade, um, and it's called Attitude. All this new age bullshit, trying to be pure, you want to be permanently positive, are you sure? Poorly attempting to keep anxiety at bay by policing every word that you say, constantly saving others from hurt, like there's no lessons within the dirt. It's okay to rough up your surroundings, not thinking how you're sounding. You take care of you, you they'll take care of them. This is where our lessons stem. We interact and make mistakes. It's better to do that than be fake. So now and then you might be rude, but live your life with attitude. All this safe space and social justice, justice how long can this shit persist? Do people realise the purpose of pain, that light and dark are from the same grain? That's the most difficult and uncomfortable that the most difficult and uncomfortable rift can present the greatest gift that the greatest godsend can be he who offends. I think it's good to speak our minds, to be vocal and slightly unkind, and have humility when it hurts you, because if it hurts, it's usually true. And as they say, truth sets us free, so you can be you and I can be me. Try not to care how you are viewed and live your life with attitude. Woo! Thank you. 